Virgo, say my lovies. I hate my, I hate my, I hate my lovies. What's going on, my love, love, lovies? How my soul tribe, my family. What's going on? Shout out to my A1 day ones, my amazing Virgo tribe, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North No, baby. Wherever you have Virgo placements, this is the family for you. Virgo, let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna tap into your overall energy. Um, get let's see what spirit wants to tell you today and see what's surrounding you. You want your prayer, my love? It's on the video I posted previously. Hi to all my newbies, welcome new subscribers, and my A1 Day One sending you love. Let's see. All right, y'all. I got 16 minutes. Let's see if I can do it. Let's go ahead and start with your overall energy, my loves. Thank you guys for your love, your support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. I appreciate you guys watching your videos all the way to the end. And remembering to hit that likey like for your girl. Thank you, guys. And thank you for booking your personal readings with me. You guys have been keeping me very busy. That was too many, Virgo. Let's see. So overall energy for my Virgo lovey. Show me clear messages, Spirit. What is going on in Virgo's surrounding energy? What is going on? I'm feeling amazing. Thanks for asking, my loves. How are you guys doing? Talk to me in the comments. Sending you love, light, and positive energy. Somebody could be thinking about sending you a message or you're getting downloads. Maybe your angels and gods are talking to you, communicating with you, trying to point you in the right direction. I see somebody practicing control tactics, okay? Somebody could be thinking about you very passionately. Could be, uh, whoo, oh my goodness, bless me. If you have allergies or you have a cold, God bless you. I hope you feel better really soon. All right, so this could be somebody who has a birthday in the summer. I feel like there could have been some type of growth or progress or maybe you met this person in the summer months or something having to do with growth in the summer. Maybe you felt like this relationship was going to grow and go to the next level. All right. Oh my goodness. Something is really making me sneeze. If you have allergies, this is going to be significant for you. I never hardly ever sneeze on camera. I know you're like, oh my goodness, she's sneezing. I don't know what that is. Something's making me sneeze. Um, Let's go ahead and move on. So somebody is fearful of something. Maybe you are feeling a bit limited. I feel like somebody is very happy with the blessings that they receive, but somebody could feel like something is missing out of their life. Virgo, this could be somebody in your energy that's feeling like something is missing because you're not there. Um, you could definitely have walked away from somebody or distanced yourself from an energy and somebody could be thinking about you. Spirit, um, this person could be remembering um, the good times or some of you guys are distant from this person because you remember the struggle with this person. You remember the struggle and maybe some of you have forgiven this person, but one thing you can't do is forget. You will not forget. You definitely remember everything that you went through with this person. And now your hands are open, just like your heart is open to the divine and the universe, okay? The universal energies. And you're trying to stay in alignment so you can receive everything that you deserve, okay? You're remembering that you are going through a spiritual awakening. The past is going to be significant sometimes. It all is a part of your growth and your journey. So a lot of you guys are embracing that. You're understanding also that you can't control somebody else's energy. So if they're thinking about you, they're thinking about you. And you're trying to do your best not to let that really get to you, okay? Um, yes, and I'm sending you love and encouragement. Y'all got this. You got this, Virgo. You're stronger than you think a lot of times. And it's a small thing to a giant baby. If you can get past this, baby, you can get past anything. And just think about the rainbow, the pot of gold at the end of the tunnel, honey. Think about all the blessings and the true love that you really do get at the end because you earned it. Um, control tactics. So somebody could be trying to figure out the best way to get you to come back in. You could also be remembering how controlling and crazy this person was and you're staying away. I feel like somebody is sending you messages. Somebody has communicated with you possibly or you're thinking about the last messages that this person sent you or somebody is thinking about the messages that you sent them. I feel like this person tried to control you through messaging you or some type of communication, whatever they were saying. And then with the Ace of Wands energy, this action, new beginning, somebody definitely wants a fresh start with you or to try to revisit something. Somebody definitely wants to try this again. 
Interesting, Virgo. Interesting. Let's see what else you need to know about this person. Let's see how you're feeling in your love house and what's going on here. Let's see how you're feeling about this relationship and what spirit needs you to know regarding love. Let's see what your blockages could be regarding love. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, thank you so much, Spirit, for showing me clear messages from my loveies. Okay. So you feel like this person is super childish. Somebody is extremely childish. You feel like somebody has to be the adult and stand up against these things. Underneath the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is forgiving. They didn't mean to hurt you, but you're holding on to it. Forgiveness helps you get past it. Okay, I knew I felt something. That's why I was saying that, okay? That's exactly why I felt that energy. Like, one thing you can't do is forget and you remember. You're holding on to what they did. It's like you can't forget. And somebody wants to start over or they want to talk to you or whatever the case may be. And this is the overall energy here forgiving spirit is encouraging you to be forgiving now usually i would laugh because i know for some of y'all that's the last thing you want to do is forgive this person but this time is really not funny because it's something having to do with your heartstrings and somebody when you think about forgiving this person for what they did you still get emotional and that's because you're still healing and that's okay um You'll get past that too. It's just a stage. Your fellow Virgos can talk to you in the comments and let you know and reassure you that it's definitely just a phase. You're going to pass that. But before you know it, you'll be over this in a way where you won't forget, but you won't be emotionally tied to it anymore. And it'll allow you to open your heart and receive new love. Um, a lot of times when you rush out of these type of relationships, things that trigger you into a spiritual awakening, and then you rush into another one, it becomes just another cycle because you're showing the universe that you really didn't learn. And not only did you not learn, you're just like, and I don't have time. Like, I don't, I just want somebody. So it's not showing value. It's not showing that you appreciate yourself in a level that you would be able to actually love a new person, right? So that helps some of you not need a love reading to see what's coming towards you, right? <laughs> um, because really that's all it is that blocks you, okay? Let's go ahead and look at the other cards. So limitations and fears alone. It says you feel like you're in this situation all by yourself, but it won't be like this forever, for some of you guys, you feel like this person doesn't feel a thing. You feel like they just went on about their life. But nope, nope, you can't be more wrong. They do feel things. They do. This person, some of these people are used to the pain. They're used to being trifling and moving in a way where they don't consider anybody's feelings but their own. And that's just important for you to remember that, Virgo. Um, a lot of times, don't expect a whole lot from certain people. And, I, and you get the red flags early. This is why Spirit is working on you and your intuition. So you won't ignore the red flags. And you'll follow those alerts that your intuition gives you when you need to pay extra close attention to something. But this person feels things. And not only that, they get dealt with too. These people get dealt with. In their own ways and they'll never tell you about it sometimes you're fortunate enough to get to see it because you should see it but um sometimes you don't even get to see it you think that they just got away scot-free no they don't and not only that they're not going to find a love like yours again mm -mm. distant so far away physically and emotionally see if you can rekindle the passion again for some of you guys this person is thinking about rekindling the passion. For some of you guys, it's you that want to rekindle the passion with this person. You could still be feeling love for them. Somebody could still be in love and it could be more to this situation than you realize. It really could be more work to do here and more healing to get. Yeah. And then we got control tactics here. And conquest, just another notch in the headboard or real deal. Action speak loudest. All right, so <laughs> this is what I'm talking about here with this control. Somebody could have been making you feel like you're just another notch in their belt or another notch in the headboard like this card says. I'm talking about just another pawn, just another person that they want to knock down and move away from. And it could be male or female. It's some females out here that don't want anything serious and men fall for them and they just throw them away. Like it's not, it's not a sex thing. You know, it's this emotional and mental type thing that 
energy that anybody could be in. But a lot of the a lot of these people, you feel like they're just controlling and they just want to get what they want and then not really give you anything in return. Some of you guys fell for this player, even though you know you deserve better. Struggle. It says you feel like you aren't being supported. If it's not a team effort, it's best to stand alone. Exactly. And this is the message that your ancestors and gods have been trying to get you to understand. It's better for you to just be alone, okay? It's better for you to walk away from these energies that don't truly serve you, my love, okay? Um, yeah, and with this action, you just feel like this person is so childish. This is what makes it hard for you to forgive them because how can you really forgive somebody who's not sorry for what they did to you? And that would take a lot of growth <laughs> and a lot of understanding to just be like, you know what? I, get, I understand. You're not there yet. I forgive you. It's not easy. Especially if you gave your heart to this person. It definitely is not easy. Let's see what else is here. Let's break this down. We're going good on our time. We got four minutes left. Let's get into it. Show me more for Virgo. Sun will rise in Venus and North Node. What did my tribe need to know? Let's see what that was that I dropped. Hold on, guys. Let me grab that. Okay, we got the Ace of Wands. Feeling like you're in this situation all by yourself, but it won't be like that forever. And I feel like when you feel like that, for some of you guys, you feel like you're the one who feel who is feeling everything. Some of y'all feel like this person don't feel anything. No remorse, no true love and really want to be committed. Some of y'all know that the passion is there. You know the chemistry is there. But when it comes to actually doing this thing and being motivated, you feel like this person is not really serious about it. Some of y'all feel like this person just wants sex. Show me more, please. King of coins, secure abundance. So a lot of you guys are doing well. You're like, what is the money and the material things without love? Like you want somebody to share it with and you want somebody who you can really take seriously. For some of you guys, you're ready to give this person your pentacle. For some of you guys, I could be talking to my females as well. You're in this masculine energy because you're ready to take action. You're ready to do things. You're ready to get this done, like get it started and be real about it, right? And you need somebody who got their head in the game. And sometimes your person is just, you don't feel like they're all the way there. Right? Let's see. What else? Distant. Yeah. So it's like you're happy. Some of you guys are happy. Um, but it's like, okay, you're happy with yourself, right? But at the same time, this person has a part of your heart. So for some of you guys, and this may not resonate with all of you, some of you are just done with this childish person, but some of you see the potential here and you want to keep it going. Or this person is seeing the potential in you and they're not really wanting to let this go. Somebody here is worth stepping it there. I mean, they feel like you're worth them stepping it up because um, with the Ace of Wands and the King of Coins, somebody could also be dealing with the Earth sign or this is my Earth signs, you guys who are ready to see what happens here but somebody is feeling like your bright energy makes them happy you make them happy somebody gets happy when they see you or feel you around them or whatever the case may be but they feel like you're distant or you feel like your person is distant i feel like you feel like your person is distant whoever is feeling distant you're being encouraged to see if you can rebuild the connection again for some of you guys, this is a soulmate energy, a perfect partnership. That's funny because usually we get the opposite where the reading is telling you to stay away from this person or go the other way. But this particular reading is telling you to go ahead and see what happens. For a lot of you with the Ace of Wands, it's a gift from the divine. So it could work, right? That's a sign that it could work, okay? Yeah, with the two of coins. But somebody here, yeah, and this is clarifying um, forgiveness because it's under the bottom of the deck. This is clarifying forgiveness. They didn't mean to hurt you, but you're holding on to it. Forgiving helps you get past it. Yeah, for some of you guys, I told you, it's not like this person doesn't feel anything. Somebody is just a little bit emotionally immature. You got the Ace of Wands twice here. Somebody definitely is passionate about you. Just another notch in the headboard, two of pentacles. You feel like 
somebody feels in despair because you feel like this person is just spilling out the cups. I feel like you're you're looking at it like somebody is just not ready or you walked away from this person feeling like they aren't ready and this person is feeling sad about it. Take it how it resonates because the energy could be interchangeable here. But somebody here is ready and they see you as their happiness. Set priorities and holding on tight. So somebody... <laughs> Somebody is controlling and a bit immature and they're trying to hold on to this, Virgo. This could very well be you saying, I'm not letting my person go. I don't want anybody else to have them, but I want them to step it up. So it's like you don't really want to give up on this person, but you want to. Um, it's like you don't feel like you're supported, but you don't want to give up. Yeah, and I, and I understand that completely because when somebody is not supporting you and they don't have your back, it makes you want to walk away, period. It's a million other things you could use your time and energy on if you're not going to be appreciated. And that's what this says here. Um, with the Empress energy, somebody could definitely be dealing with the Taurus. But this is telling me that you're in your highest power right now. 